Okay, so I thought I'll just show people my uh, setup in the back of the Fabia for camping. Uh, this is basically um, in the spare wheel well. We've got the orange thing there. That is an auxiliary heater, as you can see. Um, it basically blows up uh, here through the floor, which comes out of that vent there. I still need to make a grill cover for that. Uh, auxiliary battery, fuel tank for the heater, and a subwoofer and my electrical system it's actually really simple um, and it works very well uh, i've just basically mounted my control panel here and a little voltmeter which you can see there and that basically um, shows the power on the auxiliary battery so that's not the engine battery that's the that's that one there um, basically as you can see the wires here um, have got stuff to make all this neater it's literally just connected in at the moment just to make sure it worked um, but what I'm going to be doing is mounting it in the same way we've got this heater um, socket there or thermostat and you can possibly just see there's a quick release connector and that's basically there because um, when the heater and everything is not in use I do quite like having it looking like a normal car so um, yeah what I can do Disconnect the heating control unit um, and when I get another connector, this as well. And then I can just put the other plane panel back in. So this is the original one. That panel is one that I got from a friend who was scrapping a Fabia. And that will just go in there when I want to go stealth. So yeah, um, that's pretty much all it is. I've got that control. This is basically um, a power distribution box. Funnily enough, these are actually mounted in Fabias under the dashboard. This is actually where it came from. Um, and they're really handy for this sort of thing because it's basically, as you can see, I've got all the uh, power in there. So basically the heater, um, split charge, uh, electrics for the caravan, because I've got a trailer socket there, as you can see. Um, yeah, all works. All the earths are just here as well. Uh, that is a split charge relay which comes on with the ignition. So basically, um, I can actually show you that, how this works. Yeah, that's basically monitoring this battery. Uh, and this one is isolated when the ignition switched off. So I can run my heater all night, run that battery flat if I wanted to. Um, and then start the car with the starting battery. This relay clicks in and starts charging that one. Um, yeah, I'll show you that. So you might actually hear the click. That was the uh, heater coming on. I'll switch my radio off so it doesn't cause my phone to stop filming, which it sometimes does. Yeah, so that's now charging. Um, so yeah, that's basically that's the voltage now coming from the alternator going into that. I can switch it off as well. So yeah, and that's the uh, thermostat for the heater. I'm gonna switch the car off because. Uh, Being a remapped diesel with no catalytic converter, it smells quite bad. Um, so yeah, and now the relay has switched off, so now that battery is isolated again. And that uh, voltage will probably start to drop down eventually, as you can see. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little setup actually. I'm very happy with it. Um, as I said, these wires are going to get tidied up once. Um, like bits come that are still in the post at the moment. Um, I'll be running it through conduit like this and everything, and making it all nice and neat. Because um, yeah, basically this is all uh, a fact. I'll just show you how it should be. Yeah, so that's basically the, the uh, boot floor back in place. So um, yeah, works quite well actually. Uh, this is a floor out of an Audi A6 all road, which 
I cut down to fit. Um, I've still got a vent to make to go in here, which will neaten everything up nicely. Um, but yeah, works really well actually. Um, and when the bed is in place, it obviously fills all this up, which is that mattress there. Um, yes, this does get covered up, but I've made a vent that sits in here, diverts air up the side. Um, in fact, there it is. Literally, <laughs> just welded this thing together and it works extremely well. Um, as you can see, air goes in through the bottom there, up and out. So, yeah, that basically sits right there. And, um, yeah, diverts the air up and out around the mattress. So, yeah, um, it is extremely interesting, I think it's a polite way of putting it. Um, but it works incredibly well and, um, yeah, this is a very strange vehicle, but um, it's an excellent little camper and, yeah, works extremely well for that. So yeah, that's the uh, mattress in place, as you can see, and uh, that's where the vent sits. It basically sits uh, pointing up to the side, and those little fins that are welded in there divert the air up out of the way, so it doesn't get really hot up here, it just blows up that direction. So yeah, it's um, yeah, strange thing, but it works. And yeah, I do put duvets and stuff on there, he's in touch. I should show you how it's all set up. Um, it's very very simple uh, basically big bed in here uh, full-size memory foam that fits in the back uh, sleeps two there's me and my friend who's not currently in here she's inside at the moment um, but uh, yeah as you see two pillows one there one there mine's a bit messed up <laughs> a bit like myself um, yeah curtains that wrap around you can see over into the front there. Uh, these are basically caravan curtains that I adapted. I do intend to make proper ones because uh, these were basically a bodge that I did about six years ago and they still work. Um, but my plan is, yeah, I've had these in all my Fabias that I've slept in. And um, yeah, my plan is to make new ones. But it's just curtain wire, as you can see. Two little holes drilled up there. And they just fit in perfectly. Um, handily, these reading lights are in the perfect position in the back. As you can see, they work really well as um, yeah, reading lamps or whatever. Yeah, because when you're sleeping backwards, that perfect head height. Um, warmth, yeah, pretty good. We've got a diesel heater, which you can see here. Uh, that's the thermostat for it. You can possibly even just hear it. Uh, that there is a air vent that I built for the heater because um, the heater is mounted in the spare wheel well right, right under the uh, mattress. Heater and everything can breathe fine. Uh, there's a leisure battery under there as well. And basically this is a vent that comes along and up just up the side of the mattress. So. Uh, yeah, it works really well. It's a vent that I welded together. Uh, there is also a little meter just there, and that uh, monitors the leisure battery voltage. So that's basically um, the auxiliary battery that uh, gets charged off the car, but once the car's switched off, uh, this can run the heater and everything. Uh, it also runs the power socket in the back just there, because this. This is the original Skoda socket, um, but I use it for charging my phone and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's a really, really simple setup, but it works very well. Um, it basically means, yeah, I can sleep in this car when the weather's freezing cold outside. It's currently two degrees, uh, but in here at 17, it is really nice. Um, do of course have two duvets as well as you can possibly see, and there's a hot water bottle wrapped in here because uh, my friend feels the cold more than I do so um, yeah <laughs> it's quite nice actually um, but yeah it's basically a uh, 
bed that has over 200 horsepower and a front mount intercooler. <laughs> it's uh, quite amusing. Uh, it's good fun and it's super cheap. You know, um, it's a camper van that does over 50 miles per gallon. Um, so it's yeah, it's really handy for road trips and getting away and things like that because I do a lot of travelling. So yeah, just thought I'd show people.